So guys, I was going to do episode P3, but then I found out, look, there's this yellow thing. So that must be uh, the bit where there's that choice, where you could, you know, probably this is going to be a bad ending or something. So I don't know if it creates as a branch off point. So how is this going to work? Okay, so I've clearly, okay, do I do quick skip? There we go, okay. It was founded on your burden of solitude. It was founded on your burden of solitude? That's right. You must understand as well. I am no one. I am merely a strong consciousness which only exists here. In truth, it is you who have come here alone. That's not it. No one can live by severing their ties with other people. The reason I'm standing here now is because everyone else supported me along the way. Why can't you see that? Do our words just not reach you at all? Minazuki? I'll repeat it as often as necessary. I will do anything to grant this boy's wish. <laughs> What's with this sappy drama? <laughs> You're... Aha! You must be Shochan's Minazuki-kun. You're disqualified from the Okay, this is climax. this is repeating what I saw not too long ago, right? Kagutsuchi, you bastard. I can't quite remember. Is there a way to skip stuff you've already seen? Look at control guide, no. Pause menu. Unread okay, there we go. Unread text skip. Is that, what does that mean? Okay. Tongue this on will allow you to skip all text including text you have not read yet. No, that's not what I want. How do I... Is there a way... If I go skip... Would you like to skip on to the next path selection? Only previously read sections can be skipped. Yeah. Okay. So is it just those bits of dialogue there that I missed? Because I hope I don't have to redo that boss fight. Is this the same as before? Now is the time for despair. <laughs> this new form that you have given me. Behold it! I can't remember if the dialogue was quite the same. That might be different. But I, I know I've definitely seen these visuals before. <laughs> but you know what? I, I'm not too sure. I'm pretty. This. I'm probably. I'm ninety percent sure it's the same though. But you never know. Okay. So. It, okay. Can can I like? Get out of it! Oh. Okay. I think if this is the boss fight, then I suppose I'm gonna have to skip through this. So I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, I did it. Um, yeah, it was a much easier this time. I, cause I've, you basically just gotta do a uh, Zeodyne, I don't know, a few special moves over and over again, avoid at most of the moves if you can. Okay, so let's skip this. So is there going to be a difference at all? I really can't tell. Probably not. But we're going to get to see this cool scene again, I suppose. You can't skip this. It's too cool cool to skip. Okay. So I imagine this part is going to also include a part of the Persona 3 story because I've not really spent much time doing anything here, really. Oh, so I guess that choice was... Did it matter? He's saying the exact same thing here about the trickery of bombs. Oh wow. Well. So, if I recall correctly, it um, ended about where the epilogue did, so I guess I've got a lot to skip through, huh? Well. Oh, I love the, love the Elizabeth. I think I've met some Elizabeth cosplayers. My, my brain doesn't really remember anything anymore, though. I may have done that, like... Is it Ayakon, I think? Okay, I'm still 94%. Wait, what? Wait, wait, isn't that less than what I just did? Was I 96 before? I thought I was on... Oh, God. Okay, where was it? It was before this. Steve God's Advent. I literally don't remember. Before the battle. I, I literally don't remember. Why do I have even less now? I did the option and it, it like did nothing. Uh, I 
don't I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Okay, well at least I did that other option. If I didn't do it right, um, I may, maybe I am right. At least I've got to do the episode P3 thing. Okay, let's go do this. Um, preparations. Let's go with preparations. There's a lot of things I want to go mention, but I haven't. So I probably should do it between these story things. Wait, the what? The death of everything, but also the beginning. What? Shoji! People have filled the world, yet turned it into a void. The only hope of salvation lies in ruin. work in a zoo because that's one huge pile of shit you're pushing around so how'd that turn out for you dad it doesn't matter now that you're dead as a doornail does it you wanted the world destroyed huh isn't that right you worthless pest fine i'll do it this shitty world with its shitty people and shitty lives will disappear and i'll be the only thing left after all, if the father's fallen into darkness, then the sun must rise. Just kidding. <laughs> what nonsense. What? These constructs can only remain active within my red fog. Even then, they can only do so for a limited amount of time. If you have time to waste with worthless sentiment, hurry up and complete your preparations. Ha! <laughs> You've got no sense of humor. Keep up your whining, and I'll have to kill you, too. <laughs> Such impudence. Take them. They are your pawns. <laughs> They're pretty well made. Fine, I've got the power I borrowed from you, too. So now there's no way I could lose. Well, then, time to make like a tree and turn over a new leaf or whatever. <laughs> I don't think that's how you make the joke. <sighs> huh. A puppet version of a puppet. I'll make sure you get the job done this time. So, I originally thought it was Nyarotop. Now oh. let's begin. For the sake of his world. Oh, well, that's interesting. Oh, okay. May 5th afternoon. I am at the Shadow Operative's lab. I finished going through Labris's personality module and control links. Fukusan's voice echoes through the machinery lined room where she worked as the operator. It seems there will be a little more time until she'll be finished with her work. I knew we could count on you. I'm sorry that I asked you for such a big favor. Oh no, I couldn't possibly stand by after something so important happened. But, um, is it really all right for me to be doing this? Aren't you all part of some kind of police organization now? There's no need to be concerned. Even now that we've become the shadow operatives, this lab belongs solely to the Carijo group. But, so is Fuka not part of the Shadow Operatives? The Shadow Operatives? A special unit under the direct supervision of the National Police Agency organized to deal with supernatural cases that the normal police would be unable to respond to. In other words, cases dealing with shadows. This is one of those laboratories under the management of the Shadow Operatives. The purpose of this place is mainly to analyze evidence gathered in the shadow related cases. Analysts of shadow matters for scientific understanding and planning operations. Another objective is the maintenance inspection and service for anti-shadow weapons such as myself. Since I am a member of the shadow operatives and I'm classified as a weapon due to my mechanical nature, I periodically undergo maintenance at this facility. Directly after the inauguration of the, of the shadow operatives, Mitsurusan had a state-of-the-art package packing case prepared to transport me. However, the one slumbering within the case is my sister, Labris, the fifth generation anti-shadow suppression weapon and our new comrade. I finished investigating Labris's mobility systems. All I have to do now is reboot her OS and perform some final checks. Thank you. 
How is she? She'd sustained some heavy structural damage, so I was worried, but thankfully none were critical. Since my sister had been forced to push herself far beyond her limit during the events of the other day, her entire body had taken serious damage. I'm glad that she's okay. Fukusan's words caused me to sigh with relief. I see. And what did you recover from her memory? I'm sorry. I searched through it, but I found no records that would lead to finding the one behind what happened. If we want to pursue him any further, we'll have to wait for a report from intelligence. But it seems that will still take some time. I see. I see me serious and tying her fists with that quiet utter utterance. The culprit is someone capable of manipulating the data in my sister's memory. Possibility that they would make the mistake of leaving a trace leading them to themselves is extremely low. Even when one knows the outcome, people often feel ignorant, <laughs> ignorant when the last bit of hope is crushed. It's understanding. It's understandable. Our ability to find out who kidnapped my sister has been completely st steamed. <laughs> I can't pronounce these words. Then we have no clues to go on. Eh, don't be so hasty. We might get new leads from intelligence, right? Ever since that attempted airplane hijacking, we've learned that the Public Safety Division has been making some disquieting moves. If we don't make a move soon, there's no telling what they'll do to take advantage of the situation. We have to find a lead before they do anything. The Akihiko said now! As no Mitsuru for a long time, Mitsuru-san's expression remains stiff as she tries to console her. But that's only natural. The shadow operatives are still in a delicate position with regards to where we stand with the National Police Organization. As a seemingly suspicious group founded by an outsider and dealing with crimes outside the capabilities of the normal police force, we're often met with cold stares from people who should be our fellow investigators when we're dispatched on cases. The logic of such actions eludes me, but I cannot pretend that they do not exist. I understand how you feel, Mitsuru-san, but we must solve one problem at a time. That is why we have gathered here today. You're right. I'm sorry. Please work with me here in reviewing what information we already know. Mitsuru-san implores us for assistance. Our gathering here at the lab today isn't just to hear about the results of Fuku-san's tests on my sister. We've come to share and review the information we have, to inspect the clues as closely as possible, to get closer to the culprit as quickly as possible. The person behind this case first stole Labrys, the fifth generation anti-shadow suppression weapon, while she was in transport. Yes. The hijacking of the airplane you were on was a diversion used to conceal the theft of my sister, after which she was transported to Inaba. Correct. The hijackers were subdued and captured. But we have reason to believe that their minds were under some kind of control. Those who hijacked the airplane and transported the case had no memory of taking part in the crime. They did not recognize one another, or, and they had nothing in common, and were all ordinary citizens with no prior criminal records. They did have a all claim in their testimonies that they saw red eyes. But their integrations are still ongoing. It seems they will be long before they are released. With all these points taken into consideration, it becomes apparent that this is no ordinary crime. 